Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another Bitcoin Breakdown series brought to you by the Cryptocurrency Alliance. As always, I'm your host, Dave Rodriguez, one of the head traders here inside the Alliance community. Quick shout out to all those watching videos today. Definitely appreciate all the support. I want you guys to smash that subscribe button if you have not already. I'm going to be dropping nonstop content here, guys. So like I said, hit that subscribe button, drop a like after you're done. We really appreciate all that support. Quick rundown for all you newbies on what goes down inside these daily videos. Since Bitcoin is king, we do spend most of our time doing an analysis to see where we think it'll go next. We do take this information to try to make some profitable trades with you guys live right here inside the channel. We'll go over and evaluate some charts that I see setting up for potential breakouts, along with some fundamentals we feel will matter, so we'll keep you guys in as, as informed as we possibly can. Now, everybody knows there's three things we look for when trading, and we're giving those away in our free ebook here in just a minute. So make sure you newbies stick around so you guys receive that ebook as well as a training course given to you guys by Cody Sperber himself. So, not going to waste time, guys. Let's jump right in. I want to talk about Coinbase. Okay. A little bit of fundamentals right now. Let's, uh, let's, let's Google it real quick. Let's go to Coinbase News. Keep it kind of vague. Okay, let's see. Let's go here. So basically, if you guys haven't seen this yet, it came out today. Wanted to start this uh, video today because, um, in my opinion, this is going to be the most popular stable coin, and it's called USDC. Uh, USD coin. The crypto giants um, Coinbase and Circle got together and formed a joint venture to boost the adoption of dollar-backed digital coins known as stable coins. Now, like I said, the goal, we've talked about this many times, the goal here basically is to create mainstream adoption of cryptos known as stable coins, which, which, we, uh, which as we talked about several times, is backed by, by a government currency like the dollar in this case. Now, they are pegged one-to-one -one with the U.S. dollar. Um, and as, <clears throat> like I said, like we said before, they're pegged one to one and they're verifiable that it's actually happened. This is the, you know, all that FUD with U.S. Tether and all the crap that went down with them. As you know, this is the kind of a big deal. You know, um, this is the first stable coin that Coinbase ever supported. They do have the USD wallet, which is basically cash, well, it's not basically cash, it is cash, where you can put the cash in the USD wallet and not really have it in the market, just kind of sitting, waiting on, on, on Coinbase. Um, but now they have an actual stable coin that they are supporting, supporting, so keep your eyes on this topic, guys, and look into USDC as your new safe haven, because that's what I will be doing. I will be uh, not, not, I'll be not using Tether much anymore. Because it's just, you never really know what's going to happen. Uh, it's still up there, I think, number eight right now. But I would probably, uh, and I'm going to, uh, move everything over to the stablecoin on Coinbase. And I think you guys should look into doing that as well. But do your own research, as we always say. Make your own decisions. We're just here to put the opportunity in front of you so you guys know you do have some more options. As we were uh, covering this about a week ago when... This big movement happened from Tether back to Bitcoin, and we saw that inorganic spike. Um, we just want to keep covering this every time we can. That new news pops up. So without spending too much time on that, let's switch gears real quick. And um, I'll give you some trading advice on our trade from last week. As you can see, those of you who entered at the time we started talking about it was like somewhere you know in these areas in here. Let's just call it. Um, at one time was up 22%, at another time was up 22% again, and up currently 15%, okay? I hope you guys have taken profit somewhere along the way, at least 25, 35% profit somewhere along the way. Um, this chart, this pattern is playing out perfectly. We started calling it down in here where I went in at. And I told you guys a safe place to get in was somewhere around in here because, I mean, it went up and down a little bit, but look what actually happened. The trend continued, and we kept going up. And that's nowhere near a perfect trend line, but you guys get the point. It kept going up. Do I think we'll hit target? Absolutely. My point is take um, profit along the way. 
Move so. your stop losses up as much as you can. And always, always, always follow your trades until they fail you guys. So like I always tell you, you know, move your stop losses up, secure profits along the way. I currently have 30% left in my trade. I went um, a little heavy because I knew this was the only trade I was going to be in. So I got about 30% left. I'm going to ride it out till up here. I'll we'll monitor the trade at this point. We could see a huge spike straight through here. So I might set my limit here and see what happens. We could see a drop. It'll hit my stop loss, and that's fine because I'm already up huge on this trade, as you should be. So real quick, I want to talk about another trade that kind of reminds me just like this one. I, I took this trade. Um, with the same insight that I took, or excuse me, with the same analysis I took this trade on, hoping for the same outcome, um, OST. I took this trade off this trend line. Um, I think it's safe for you to um, try to find an entry. I do think this will get a good 15% spike here very soon, and I do think it will find support. Um, actually, man, this thing could spike up a lot more than that. Um, you know, we, we, we could see a huge... Huge gain here. The total top here is 50%. I'm um, not calling that, but I'm calling a spike here. I think we're going to get what we need here. I do not think it will fall below. Um, so those of you who want to wait and try to let it come down, maybe for a retest and bounce back off, that's fine. Maybe you go for the spike, wait for it to find room here, which is what I always recommend. Um, but the, the, it's looking good. I mean, we've got some. We've got the cradling of the of the MAs here on the six hour. They're both starting to point upwards. We're well above the 200. We can go higher and see how it looks. Um, 12 hour, we're seeing a lot of green candles. Um, you know, this is a big area of rejection, so we could see it bounce back down. So like I said, some of you, you, you could wait and see if maybe it comes back off the trend line and holds and gets back upwards. But I, I took it down in here, guys. Um, the whole point of this is not to give you a real signal um, or anything like that. It's just to show you that, you know, I, I look at setups because... Um, you know, I have rules that I've set for myself and I look at different setups and I look at the trading rules, the three trading rules that, that we'll talk about in the ebook. And, um, I, I see this trade a lot and I know that this is most likely going to play out. And like I said, the half egg shape, you know what I mean? This is the little, the little, uh, teacup, some call it. Um, but I fully expect this to bounce. I mean, I'm already nicely in the profit. Um, I'm already probably, I don't know, 6% or so. I'm probably in right around here. I'm five, six percent in profit right now. So those of you, like I said, this is just for the purposes of showing you guys. I saw the setup here, I took it, and, and I'm well in a profit. I'm seeing the same setup here, and I'm gonna and I took it. You know, I'm seeing the bullish momentum and I'm taking the trades. So you guys need to do the same thing. This is a numbers game. I might lose this one, but I'll see a third one and I'll take that as well. Do I think this is still safe to get in? I mean, you're gonna have a bigger stop loss. Um but you know, some of you guys are risk takers. You've got money to throw around. Then, then this is what this is what makes it fun. Um, I believe in this trade, but I believe we might get a little another bounce. Um, do I believe it'll fall out? There's a small part of me that knows that could happen. So we always look at that as well. But I think there's a better chance of it popping up and out with the way the alts have been acting, the way Bitcoin's been moving sideways, um, than it bouncing down and out. If Bitcoin tumbles, we'll see this tumble as well. But I'll take my chances. Um, and I'm already up, so we'll keep that going. Let's take a look at Bitcoin and see what we're doing here. I fully expect, I drew these yellow lines down here because these are my buy zones. I fully expect Bitcoin to continue to fall. I don't see it continuing its way down slowly like this. I think we'll break this area here uh, very soon with a nice little spike. I'll see a retest of that area, and then it'll just completely fall to this zone here first. 6250 is our first zone. We'll cover these later. Um, but I am ladder buying. Um, I won't be buying all of it here, but I will be buying um, Bitcoin at these levels. And guys, remember how useful Coinigi is. For those of you that are new, we all use Coinigi, guys. There'll be a link in the description for you guys. If you have not signed up for Coinigi, you see down the bottom right, they're showing a bunch of different um, news uh, articles from different news vendors. Um, you know, there's you, you've got the, the order books and everything, all the data uh, over to your right. You've got the trading view screens. Um, so guys, this thing is killer. I use it for all my, my trading and uh, you guys should use it too. If you use trading view, that's fine because they support trading view. If you look in the bottom left hand corner, you'll see charts by trading view. So it's the same functionality. It just has more use. 
as you can actually take trades, you can set reminders and limits, and you can see the order book and place orders over here as well. Um, but like I said, 62 is that next level. I'll be placing buys here. Uh, I fully expect it to, to continue um, and reach these two levels. And then I, I, I really see a move upwards. These things change from time to time. Last Friday, I fully expected a, a bounce upwards until I saw that you know, we rejected that area. Um, we rejected, or excuse me, we fell through this area and then tested it and rejected it. So, you know, I fully expect this thing to keep riding downwards. Uh, we can look at the four hour before we go, but it's uh, just riding this downtrend. You know, the trend is your friend. Um, this thing's retracing like crazy, and I think we can get a full one here. And uh, this is the more, this is probably the best trend line we can set on this low uh, time frame right here. Kind of like a, something like this. I mean, So right now we're sitting on 61.8, you know, break through to 71, get a full retrace here. Let's just see what happens, guys. I um I, I see in the very near future, uh, Bitcoin still falling. Um, I see OST hitting some targets. So um, I'll keep an eye on this. Look for the little tap off the trend line before she continues. That is all I have for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed all the content that we provide to you. Please mash that like button, guys. Please comment. Let us know anything you want us to cover, any questions you have um, for us in that comment section. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed, please mash that subscribe button and uh, turn your alerts on so anytime we drop a video, you guys can get those alerts immediately and watch the content. Um, for those of you that are new, in, in the description below, you're also going to see the link for the free ebook. It's bitcoinconsumerguide.com forward slash YT. That's like YouTube. You're going to get our three top trading secrets that we use here inside of the Alliance. It's something that we all came up with together that, that works the best for us, that we feel is the safest way to get in and out of the market. So don't um, forget to fill all that information in. It's as simple as your email, and then we'll get all that information out to you immediately. And you guys will also go through the little training course that Cody Sperber himself has made for you guys to enjoy. So, um, like I said, that's all I have for you today, guys. Mash that like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you guys tomorrow on the next Bitcoin Breakdown.